If we take the lines away, the most interesting star, I think the star that could be shocking in our sky, is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star, if you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous, very unstable, and about to explode. It's not as simple as it seems in the universe. These huge events, like the most feared enormous starburst, could shake everything we see and don't see to its core. But Betelgeuse has found a sign, a red supergiant star that is 764 times bigger than our sun. Brian Cox and other astronomers think it could go supernova at any time. People are mostly afraid of what will happen because the James Webb Space Telescope is taking shocking pictures of the star. When exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and how big of an effect will it have on Earth? Let us find out. A star in the constellation Orion shines so brightly that even people from long ago have seen it. The well-known star Betelgeuse is located on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is the second largest star in the constellation Orion. Its name comes from this feature, the giant's shoulder. It is one of the brightest stars in the night sky. On top of being very bright, the star is also a strange shade of red, which, as we will see, is a sign of trouble. We've known about Betelgeuse for a long time. A Greek scientist named Ptolemy also studied it. At that time, the only thing people knew about stars was their color. Ptolemy said that Betelgeuse was an orange color. Scientists have been studying this star even more closely lately and now have a good idea of what makes it so strangely bright. One of these traits is that the star changes brightness a lot, with an apparent magnitude of 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, which means that its motion changes over time. But recently, experts have learned something new about the star. In 2019, scientists first noticed that Betelgeuse was acting oddly. Even though Betelgeuse didn't fully stop glowing, it wasn't the same because it had become much less bright, shining at a magnitude of about 1.6. Scientists quickly began to look into why they were seeing the 10th brightest star in the sky in this strange way. Scientists have had to make a scary statement based on their research, which culminated in the strange signs the star has recently shown. Scientists say that Betelgeuse could go supernova at any time. Brian Cox is a well-known scientist who made this very dangerous statement. As a well-known professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy, you shouldn't take his attitude as a joke. He also hosts a science show, writes many well-known science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement in Science. Brian Cox says Betelgeuse is like a ticking time bomb because it could go off at any moment. To make matters worse, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown a huge amount of evidence to back up this statement. But what strange signs has Betelgeuse given that have caused so much trouble in space science? Based on new information about Betelgeuse, the star has been labeled as a supernova, but scientists are still not sure when it will explode. The fact that Betelgeuse is about 15 times the mass of the Sun is one reason for this classification. A star only needs to be about 8 times the mass of the Sun to be called a supernova. Things get more interesting though. For this reason, scientists have used many tools to look into Betelgeuse, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to watch what's happening in space around Betelgeuse. And what they found is still interesting. The Sun was born on August 31st, 6 billion years ago. At that time, the star Betelgeuse was seen to be showing strange signs that made its future unclear. What did they find, though? They could pick up strange light waves coming from the star Orion in the direction of Betelgeuse. That is very strange, but it wasn't the only thing experts saw from the star. This brings us back to the idea that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes. Sometimes it was said that Betelgeuse dimmed down every 430 days and had dark spots, just like our sun. Today though, things are different. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another strange sign that Betelgeuse is back. Scientists found that the star's dimming cycle had hit a V-band brightness of plus 1.614 in February 2021. This was very soon after the huge dimming event. Remember how the star seemed to dim in a strange way in 2019? 
That's what we're talking about because that's what it's mostly known as, the Great Dimming. We could see that the Great Dimming was the start of Betelgeuse's strange behavior and made a lot of people worry that Betelgeuse was going to explode. The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the lowest level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, experts were sure that Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years because of the Great Dimming. There is a lot going on in the universe, so this is pretty scary. Scientists quickly changed their minds, though, when they saw what happened next. Betelgeuse got brighter again after the Great Dimming and turned into something even more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% brighter than normal. This makes it the seventh brightest star in the sky right now. Scientists were scared when they saw a red glow in the sky's southern hemisphere. Today, it still gets more interesting because this has led to a lot of different ideas about what caused the Great Dimming. We're going to explain. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse is a sign of a red supergiant star, which is the last stage of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is surprisingly caused by a surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the surface of the Sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Because Betelgeuse is cooler than our Sun, it gives off less energy per unit of surface area, even though it is bigger and about to blow up. Now, let's talk about what the Great Dimming was like. Brian Cox says does it mean that Betelgeuse is about to go supernova? Actually, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant already proves that it is almost done with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also usually dim over time, which is something that scientists agree on. Even so, Betelgeuse's recent strange behavior made scientists even more worried, and many telescopes are now studying the made it look like it was fading. A different reason for the great dimming came from what the VLT High Observatory in Chile saw. In this case, the telescope came to the conclusion that the star's surface temperature had dropped by 170 Kelvin during the Great Dimming. However, it turned out that the dust clouds seen by the Hubble Space Telescope had nothing to do with the weather change. As an alternative, they thought that dark spots were to blame for the Great Dimming in Betelgeuse. The cool dark spot was said to be very big and had formed for a short time on the star's surface, which caused the Great Dimming. A huge camera in Chile was also used to try to figure out what happened during the Great Dimming. In the end, it turned out that both of the past answers were correct. Based on this third interpretation, the theory says that the giant dark spot and cloud dust had big parts in the Great Dimming. In this case, it was because a dark spot had formed on the star's surface in the southern hemisphere, which caused the temperature around it to drop. To make matters worse, the star spat out a bubble of hot gas. The Great Dimming event happened because of a huge cloud of dust that formed over the star's surface. In light of these scientific ideas, it is clear that scientists think Betelgeuse is about to go supernova. But there are other explanations for its strange behavior, such as the Great Dimming. Still, things get more interesting because experts still don't know everything about Betelgeuse. Scientists are now using the most cutting-edge tools to keep an eye on the interesting things going on around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tool scientists have used so far. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped scientists learn a lot about Betelgeuse. The new pictures of Betelgeuse's great dimming taken by this telescope have shown that the event caused a surface mass ejection. Based on new research, we now know that this mass ejection was about 400 billion times bigger than a typical CME. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things that our eyes can't see, such as light waves and frequencies. For this reason, scientists are excited about what the telescope will find. Scientists have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that looks like leaves in space. That doesn't make sense. Even though Betelgeuse is going to die, scientists are still keeping an eye on it because they don't know when it will go supernova. Scientists think that Betelgeuse is 764 times bigger than the Sun and that the bright red star will shine for the rest of the decade. But if we look at the many strange things happening with the star, it's hard to say if this statement will still be true after the Great Dimming. 
So, experts don't think Beetlejuice is going to blow up anytime soon. If Beetlejuice blows up, it will be the first supernova we see with our own eyes since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Scientists also don't want this to happen in the near future, because they are still keeping an eye on the star's strange behavior. Even though scientists are sure that Betelgeuse will go supernova, when exactly it will happen remains a mystery. If we examine the cosmos without preconceived lines, one of the most fascinating stars, and potentially the most shocking in our sky, is Betelgeuse, often referred to as Betelgeuse. This red giant star, if placed where the sun is, would extend out to Jupiter's orbit. It's incredibly massive, unstable, and on the verge of an explosion. The universe doesn't operate simply, such monumental events, like the feared starburst, could fundamentally alter everything we perceive. Betelgeuse has exhibited intriguing signs, a red supergiant star that is 764 times the size of our sun. Astronomers, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. The concern lies in the implications of this event, especially since the James Webb Space Telescope has captured startling images of the star. So when exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and what impact will it have on Earth? Let's delve into it. A star in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse, shines so brightly that it has been observed by ancient civilizations. Betelgeuse, located on the eastern shoulder of Orion, is the constellation's second-largest star. Its name signifies the giant's shoulder. It stands out as one of the brightest stars in the night sky and its unusual red hue indicates potential instability. Knowledge about Betelgeuse dates back centuries, even the Greek scientist Ptolemy noted its orange color. Recently, scientists have closely studied this star and uncovered its peculiar brightness variations, with an apparent magnitude of 0.6. Betelgeuse is known as a variable star, meaning its luminosity fluctuates over time. In 2019, Betelgeuse exhibited strange behavior by dimming significantly, reaching an apparent magnitude of about 1.6, much lower than usual. This sudden dimming prompted scientists to investigate. Their research led to a startling conclusion, Betelgeuse could go supernova anytime soon, as noted by Brian Cox, a renowned professor of particle physics and public science educator. His assertion, supported by evidence from the James Webb Space Telescope, sparked widespread interest. What unusual signs has Betelgeuse shown? Classified as a supernova candidate, Betelgeuse is about 15 times the mass of the Sun, exceeding the 8 times threshold for supernova potential. To understand the star better, scientists have employed various instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. Observations revealed peculiar light waves emanating from Betelgeuse and a significant change in its brightness cycle, now occurring twice as fast as before. The great dimming event between 2019 and 2020, where Betelgeuse's brightness dropped to an all-time low, heightened concerns about an impending supernova. Following this dimming, Betelgeuse brightened again, becoming 150% more luminous than usual, now the seventh brightest star in the sky. This unusual increase in brightness has led to various theories regarding the cause of the great dimming. The red glow of Betelgeuse, a sign of a red supergiant star nearing the end of its life, results from a cooler surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, compared to the sun's 5,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature means Betelgeuse emits less energy per surface area despite its massive size. Several theories have been proposed to explain the great dimming. The Hubble Space Telescope suggested a large amount of hot matter ejected from Betelgeuse's surface formed a dust cloud that obscured its light. The VLT High Observatory in Chile attributed the dimming to a temperature drop on the star surface, unrelated to dust clouds, possibly caused by a large temporary dark spot. Combining these findings, another theory posits that both a dark spot and a dust cloud contributed to the dimming event. Despite these explanations, Scientists continue to monitor Betelgeuse's strange behavior using advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope. Recent observations revealed that the Great Dimming involved a surface mass ejection 400 billion times larger than typical coronal mass ejections. The James Webb Space Telescope has also detected unseen light waves and frequencies, providing more insights into Betelgeuse's activities. Currently, scientists predict that Betelgeuse, 
which is 764 times larger than the Sun, will remain bright for the foreseeable future. However, the star's unpredictable behavior keeps experts vigilant. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, it would be the first such event visible to the naked eye since 1604, observed by Johannes Kepler. While scientists anticipate a supernova, the exact timing remains uncertain.